I don't think there will be another review this year with more backstory, more lore than this one right here. I mean, this video is going to dive all the way back to 2010 in terms of canceled Kabuto with Flames variants to the release version in 2013 and now to this mislabeled release of him. I mean, it's just going to be crazy. China versus Thailand. So stick around for it all, guys. This two pack's actually being found out there right now at USA Target stores. So on top of all that craziness, you can engage in it yourself by going out and grabbing it. The case also has Chiefess, Luis and Luis, Mark Sontheim, or Holm Haynes, and I reviewed all of them. I'll leave the links in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. Really great case overall. I think it might be one of the best two pack cases in five, six years, I'd venture to say. So yeah, very exciting times right now to be a Cars fan. And yeah, let's just get right on into it. I think the presentation of this two-pack just looks beautiful because as we know, when they did the Kabuto with Flames, actually, let's revert back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. When they did the Tokyo Mater singles this year, Patoka, Ido San, and Drift Party Mater, they just used a standardized artwork of Tokyo Mater, this guy here, for everything. And now when they're doing the two packs, they obviously can't just put Tokyo Mater, Tokyo Mater. They had to get a little bit more creative with it. So they did find out of the cobwebs of their digital closet, Artwork for Kabuto Ninja that was only previously seen on a Disney Store multi-pack and then like a backpack. So that's awesome. And then this Kabuto artwork, which is the one, you know, it's not the one they've been using since 2011 or 2012 rather. It's a brand new one that also has only been seen on a few different items of merchandise, non-Mattel related. So very, very awesome. Like I just love, they really meld together nicely especially, you know, seeing Kabuto Drift right there. Although he is blatantly showing off his red tires that Mattel just doesn't want to give him for all this time. Maybe down the road, but that's why I actually love the Disney Store release of Kabuto because he has the red tires. But yeah, Kabuto Ninja over here looks great. And honestly, it looks like he's animated in a different way than Kabuto here. It looks like Kabuto's almost taken right out of the short, whereas this one's animated a little bit more cartoonish, but... Either way, I'm so glad to have this and I definitely will be grabbing an extra one to keep in the package. But we will be opening this. Obviously, it does say Tokyo Mater up there to let you know that this is from the short that came out over a decade ago. But yeah, that just goes to show the long lasting impact that Cars has had. And this is also the first two pack they've done on the darker, like more red packaging. So that's kind of an interesting thing to know. It looks a little bit off because most of the two packs we've been getting have been for Cars on the road. So we don't have to worry about this darker red action. But yeah, for them, they decided to do it. And it's actually, yeah, should look pretty cool with all the Tokyo Mater stuff together because they have these specific card backs as well. Let's say Cars Tune, because it is a part of the Cars Tunes. They did this two-pack in the last case, Case S, Drift Party Mater, who's also out as a single, and then Dragon Lightning McQueen, his first release from Thailand. So I will review them soon here, I'm sure, but I just haven't gone around to grabbing that one. And plus, I think this one is just a way more interesting two-pack. You have, of course, Kabuto with Flames there. That's a brand new stock image with him looking to the side. And then Kabuto Ninja. Very cool. That is another new stock image as well. They're not reusing any of these from 2010. And yeah, on the nice Tokyo backdrop. Looking awesome. Very excited to get into this. So let's do it. Wow, these guys look pretty stunning in person. I'm a big fan of Kabuto's expression right off the bat. But before we get into any of that, I do want to just show you guys their appearances. Of course, there is Kabuto Ninja, or at least one of them. There are four, and there is no distinguishing quality to any of them, unfortunately. It would be cool if they released this one with a different expression, but it's pretty much the same as the Chinese ones they've done in the past. And we'll obviously compare them in a moment here. And then, of course, Kabuto 
himself. Kind of derogatory to just call of his ninjas Kabuto Ninja. Like, don't they have names? It's basically just saying, like, if I work for somebody, my name is just his name with a little adjective after, like a little defining aspect after. I'm just like, <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, let's say, yeah, like Steve Jobs, let's say, you know, in the past, you know, owner of Apple or all that. And then you have a technician and just like Steve technician. That's basically what they're saying. Like Jeff Bezos of Amazon. <laughs> Oh my God, I find that so funny. Packing specialist. Jeff, packing specialist. Kabuto Ninja, it's the same thing. Anyways, off of that tangent, let's get on. We're going to start with Kabuto Ninja because he'll be a simpler one to talk about. There isn't much lore for him. Basically, he was released in 2010 and then later on at Walmart during their exclusive stint of the Cars Tunes from 2013 to 2015. There were a couple times he got released there. Now, right off the bat, I can see that the Thailand version is a darker blue. It's much more navy. The ones on the left and the right from China are a little bit brighter. Let's just take a look to see which is which. So this is definitely the older one, I'd say. Just based on the date stamp here, if we could focus in on it, maybe. So yeah, that looks like the 30th day. Oh, no, no, no. The 133rd day of 2010. This one here, oh yeah, this one's way newer. This one's from 2014. So yeah, just like I had said, this is the newer one. This is the older one here. And they're pretty much identical, despite being five years apart. Now, the eyes are positioned a little bit differently, but that's going to happen on stuff like this for sure. And then here, let's take a look at the base on this one. S13A, so the 13th week of 2023 is when this one was produced. So they're all kind of evenly spaced out for the most part. This one was produced a little bit longer than the gap between these two though. But yeah, you could definitely tell the color difference. I do think that's probably a little bit more accurate. Like I do remember them being darker and just looking at the artwork on the package, he does look to match a little bit better. So that's good. And let's just take a look. We're just going to isolate these two for now. <clears throat> the 2010 versus the 2023 one here, 13 years apart. That's kind of crazy. You can definitely see a little bit more of the granulation of the eyelids there, but that's just how it goes these days. The eyes themselves look really good. The mouth looks to be a little bit bigger, like it extends more to the left. But overall, kind of same vibe. Yeah, definitely more teeth showing as well. Darker tongue. Headlights look a little bit different. The headband. Pretty clear decal there. Not the best, not like as crisp. As this one, like you could definitely tell with the Japanese characters there that this is a little bit crisper, but still looks pretty good, gets the job done. Let's take a look at the rims because they look like, yeah, he obviously makes it seem like the rims are knives or like throwing stars or whatever in the shorts. And yeah, they look pretty good. Yeah, they look very, very similar. Both of them have a little bit of a nice shine to them. You got the door handles there. The windows are now a gray opaque. So that's something to take note of. The swings are texturized plastic, which is pretty nice. Double stacked, but again, pretty similar. Oh, there is a little bit of a difference there. Like you could see that there's a gap in between the spoilers right there. Here, they have like this extra added piece. It's kind of weird looking, honestly. But there's not as much of a gap there anymore. Huh. On the back here, oh, it looks like they made the exhaust pipe plastic. The exhaust pipe was a part of the main metal body in the past, and now it's a plastic piece. But it's not a part of the base, it's a whole separate piece. Interesting. And the taillights are a little bit darker. The white dots in them. So yeah, not a whole lot going on with Kabuto Ninja, that's for sure. But it still looks pretty cool. I like the color, but it's really hard to determine which one I like more. Nah, I'll go with the Thailand version. I like the darker color. I just think it looks a little more accurate. So hey, that's a win for Thailand. And oh, also I do want to mention the Chinese version had plastic 
Savi mirrors that weren't a part of the main metal body, whereas Tylen has the mirrors a part of the main metal body. So is that a good thing, a bad thing? Is it cheaper? Probably. But hey, they made one thing not a part of the main metal body and they made another thing part of it. Okay, got it. All right, now on to the craziness with Kabuto with flames here. I'm gonna try and make this as concise and clear as possible because I know I can kind of get a little distracted when I start talking about lore because I get a little excited and carried away. But basically, in 2010, Mattel was supposed to release Kabuto with flames as a deluxe in their Cars Tune line. Yeah, can you believe it? As a deluxe. Glad that actually didn't happen <laughs> in a way, right? And as with a lot of cars that got canceled in 2010, there were leaks to Chinese sellers on eBay and they were dispersed to collectors. And I have been able to get my hands on a couple of these. And there are variants amidst this cancel release. Like, can you believe that? Like, even with something that got canceled, there are variants. Amidst those very few that got leaked, there are variants of them. That's kind of crazy for me to think about. But it's not the first time it's happened. Like it's happened with Bonanza from Planes. It's happened with Shoot to the Roki with Flames, which is kind of coincidental that both are flame cars. But the variant, you may ask, what is it? Well, it's in the mouth. The mouth is either the same mouth that the regular version of Kabuto had and has, which is kind of like his snarly growl, okay? Or you got the new mouth, which is just him closed, looking a little bit more content looking off to the side. But either way, Kabuto with Flames back in the day, 2010, was going to have the eyes looking to the side. Whether or not the official release was going to have that mouth or that mouth you know, remains to be never seen, right? But I would suspect, I would venture to guess it would have had the new mouth because why go to the lengths of making it if you weren't going to do it with it? I'm sure this was like an earlier prototype that just got slapped on with one of the old mouths, you know? So there's that, okay? So canceled in 2013, some of these guys like got leaked. You know, you can see these are unmarked prototype canceled releases, okay? So then 2013 rolls around and we get a three pack. And this is where I think my newer Kabuto with Flames comes from. Actually, I think it might have been 2014. Regardless, 2013, 2014, same, same. They do uncancel Kabuto with Flames and yeah, finally release them. Here you go. But stupidly, very upsettedly, <laughs> They just use the same expression that they did when they released and as they you know would release regular Kabuto because regular Kabuto has been released a ton 2012 and many times since then, right? In you know regular packaging as if he appeared in Cars 2, not necessarily Cars 2, okay? And so while this was great to finally get Kabuto with Flames, it was bittersweet because it's not such a cool release anymore. Like they literally just tacked on a flame to it and they didn't change the expression, which is really honestly, in my opinion, the better part of this release than the flame because the flame you can't really see until you know you turn them around, okay? So yeah, that was his only release until now. And so here we are, even though they labeled him as Kabuto on the two pack and the single that will be coming out soon, they just call him Kabuto, but it is indeed Kabuto with flames. And as you could see, Thailand decided, screw that Chinese version of him with that lame expression, to hell with it. We are going to give the collectors and fans what they want, what they wanted from 2010, and that is the new unique expression. But we're gonna put our own little spin on it. We are going to change it up a little, little bit. So yeah, here is your new Thailand version of Kabuto with Flames compared to both canceled variants from 2010. So the eyes got a little squintier, a little bit more spread out, but they are still looking to the side. And I think, you know, as I always say about expressions, if it's looking to the side, hello, I see you back there, Tokyo Mater. It's a just far better expression. Like it has the chances of being, I mean, it just, automatically makes it a great expression because it gives it that sense of liveliness and character and personality that the expressions looking straight ahead don't always have. And there are a lot of expressions, you know, like Dragon McQueen here with the eyelids on the top and bottom. That helps for sure. But there are some that just look very robotic, you know, flow, sheriff. There's a lot of those I think that just look a little robotic, for example. And so 
this is great, guys. Basically, the whole point of this is that Mattel did us a solid here. They were like, hey, I know we screwed up in 2013, but at least we uncanceled them. I know we screwed up still, though. Here he is. We're still going to screw up a little bit, though, because that's just in our DNA. And we're going to label him regular Kabuto because we don't really label variants anymore. Like, we just call Miles Axrod with open with the microphone, Miles Axrod. But, hey, doesn't matter what the package says as long as the diecast is what you want, right? So, yeah, there you have it, guys. That is all the lore. The mouth is also a little different. Like, it's a little bit squigglier. It's just kind of more of a thin line instead of the lips being puckered there. And then also, you could tell that he's a much lighter gray than he used to. Now, I don't have the regular Thailand Kabuto loose, but I would assume that he also kind of looks like this. But it is strikingly a lighter gray color. Doesn't look as metallic. Doesn't look quite as real, honestly. It does look a little bit like cheaper plastic, even though it is die cast. But whenever you see that gray color, it's very, very like recognizable as plastic almost, you know, like playset plastic. So, yeah. You kind of take it for what you will. There are pros and cons to all this stuff, but I am very happy that they finally delivered this expression because it is such a good one. Like, it looks so cool, guys. I can't express enough how much I love Kabuto's expression here. Bad plus a three-letter word is what I would call it. So, yeah. I'm just going to compare it now to this variant from 2010 because, obviously, the Miles match versus that other one there. So, yeah. Looking great. Now they did, so before you could see there was a moth plate right here, so this was plastic, but the black fenders here were all part of the main metal body. They changed that. So this you know, bumper up here, this splitter that goes into the fender here and the runner board and this fender, that's all plastic now, but it is texturized like the spoilers or the wings rather. Speaking of which, that's a little, a little wobbly right there. But yeah, that's all plastic, but he doesn't have a moth plate anymore. But it does protrude a lot. I'm kind of surprised they did that because that's, you know, that's a lot of different pieces. Now you have this, this. I mean, there are a lot of pieces going on in him. This is S17A, so four weeks after Kabuto Ninja, right? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, kind of wild. There are the rims that look... Not as shiny. They're not silver anymore. They're like a darker gray. So that's a little disappointing. And the red trim isn't as noticeable. He does have a nice little samurai sword there, which looks pretty good. Nice decals and everything. The eyes look really good. His side view mirrors have always been a part of the main metal body. He's got his yellow crown up here. Such a weird looking thing. But honestly, is what makes him so iconic, along with the triple stack spoiler here in the back with the red accents on the side. Looks really good. He's got the boost cans, just like Boost himself does. But there's a perfect example of how you could see it's a much shinier silver versus the gray here on the Thailand version. And then same thing kind of again with <laughs> the exhaust pipe. Like It's a very cheap looking gray plastic doesn't look like actual metal at all and before it was just black so i guess there's an improvement there because it really shouldn't be black and maybe that's just because mine is yeah i think that's just because mine these are the canceled versions and that's why it was black because before they did you know the actual kabuto with flames from 2013 has a silver exhaust pipe here whereas now it's just like that cheap looking gray plastic so a little disappointed about that because this was plastic too. It's not like that was metal. But on the flip side of that, I think the flame looks better. Like it has a little bit of a gloss, almost transparent glow in the dark look to it. And the purple is dusted on there a little bit differently. You know, like it's very different looking. Like this doesn't look like a flame at all. It almost looks like a... Oh my god, there's so many different things you could compare it to. I mean, it doesn't look like a flame, right? It almost looks like something from Avatar. It looks like a plant from Avatar. It looks like a... Oh my god, there's so many things, guys. Probably I'd get too inappropriate if I started listing them, but it just doesn't look like a flame. 
this looks far more like a flame and even on the canceled versions like it kind of has that almost transparent see-through look to it right so yeah i mean even with look at these were honestly the best flames because they're actually see-through and this is the san diego comic-con tokyo mater with flames metallic tokyo mater that is so yeah that's what you want to strive for because they almost look like glass this is just trash you like that that was a rhyme so yeah, it looks okay. Pros and cons with everything, guys. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I think we have to be grateful that this even made it out because who would have thought that you know, 13 years after this was canceled, we would get it. Although not you know, perfect in any way, at least we still got it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about everything and do you prefer Kabuto or Kabuto Ninja? I think that's a pretty easy decision for me, but who knows? Maybe there's some Kabuto Ninja stands out there. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. There are four different variants of Kabuto with flames, two of which were canceled in our prototypes. Kind of crazy stuff. Let me know what you think, guys. Yeah, a lot of Kabutos here. There's a lot of testosterone flowing in this review right now. <laughs> a lot of toxic <laughs> masculinity flowing right now but all right i'll be back with my review of the thailand dragon mcqueen here soon although i'll have to open up another drift party mater help a nice duplicate of that won't that be fun all right guys see you later bye now